<clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing? Sorry for the delay. Just rushing back to my desk for the four o'clock session. I can see see a few people that have come on already. On this, I'm I'm live on Zoom right now. Um, I'm not live on Facebook yet. Yes, you are. How are you doing? Who's that? Well, this is Lenny Knight. I'm in the U.S. How are you, Adrian? Oh, Lenny. Yeah, I can see you. Yeah, how are you doing, Lenny? Uh, Lenny Knight, is it? How are you doing? Good. Good. What's the weather like there? It's Kind of like London today, raining. <laughs> All right, it's uh, well. It's <laughs> strangely enough, it's very hot here in the UK today. We, we've had a very um, about some nice weather the last couple of days. That's awesome, awesome. <laughs> yeah, very lucky. I'm not sure for how long, but um, it's looking pretty good so far. Great. I'm gonna go ahead. What are you up to, Lenny? Are you are you in? What business is are you into? Are you in any of my programs or? Yes, I'm in USI and I came across you. I joined USI and now I um, I like your video, so I wanted to get a link so I can join your organization. Me and my brother were very interested in doing some stuff with you. We like your message. Oh, that's good stuff. How long have you been on the internet? How long have you been in this um, in this sort of online sort of sort of make money space. How long have you been around? Since uh, last December. All right, so you're fairly new. Yes. All right, okay, so are you, are you in a day job as well or are you full time on the internet now or are you going to have a day job as well? No, I'm doing a day job right now, but uh, the goal is to transition over the next few months. Oh, that's good, that's good to have a plan. Um, so it's just the one program that you're in right now, is it? Um, Swissco, um, USI Tech. I'm in USI Tech with you. Um, I'm in a couple, of, a couple of other crypto uh, organizations, um, working those as well. Uh, but I really like what I see with USI right now, and I can see this as a, a good, semi-passive, aggressive platform that I can grow for the long term is what I'm looking at. Really, really uh, scaling this thing up pretty fast. Well, that's good. Yeah, this, um, so did you, did you start in USI um, right at the beginning, more or less, what was it now, 44 months ago now, wasn't it? No, I just started like two weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> two weeks ago, right, okay. USI, yes, yes. So did you buy any, did you buy many packages or just, just a few more? I have 10 packages, um, but like I said, I'm looking to ramp that up and really maximize this, this conversation plan. So, I, you know, you have some very good strategies from what I see so far, and I really want to learn a lot more from you. Um, join your organization, because I'm more, I like, want to market this to a cold market and uh, run traffic to it, use landing pages, that type of thing as well. Yeah, what I'm doing is, um I've just taken on a new, um, I may be st discussing it later on tonight or the next hangout, but I've just taken on a new system now for generating leads and, and um, creating uh, landing pages and squeeze pages, you know? So uh, are you using anything right now to, um, to sort of collect leads and build a list right now? Yes, exactly. I, um, I use a couple different uh, autoresponders. I use, uh, are you familiar with Sinlane? All right, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. I use Sinlane as well as Git Response. Most people use Git Response. Um, I'm not sure about the deliverability factor with Git Response, so I started using Sinlane as well. Uh, yeah. And use the basic tools, click funnels, uh, the build pages, those type of things as well. So that's, um, everything's working good there for you? Yeah, that's working good in some other opportunities as well. Um, I think with the right exposure with this, though, with USI, this thing could really take fire. Have you have you have you brought many people into USI yet, or have you? Um... I have uh, four or five people that I started 
just recently. Jim, that's just wall market, word of mouth. You know, speaking to a few friends. Hey, take a look at this. Tell me what you think. This has been working for me in the past week or so. So I'm really looking to ramp it up now, though. Yeah, USA Tech's going. Um, it's really starting to take off now, certainly in in the UK as well. And um, I think it's going it's going all around the world. Basically, I got a big team in yeah. Guam in Asia. It's, it's just going it's going off on one everywhere. Yes, yes, exactly. So and it's only sort of. Um, like four months in, you know, from the Bitcoin side of things, but um, the forex has been going for the forex has been going for some time. You know, you know the forex side of it that's been going for right. uh, for a while. Exactly, and that's probably my next phase is to get the uh, software package and start to doing some investments. And so I was looking at some of your previous YouTube videos, and you were speaking about some of the old coins that you were doing, um, and I've um, been looking at a few of those. I actually join the uh the bitrex and looking at the how do you pronounce it the rolston rolston coin oh yeah yeah the, this um this one particular coin called um Groys, Groystel coin yeah um yes, yes i was looking at that that seems really interesting so yeah it seems i'm hoping i've found a bit of a gold mine i i, I see it as um as big potential you know it's a proof of work coin so it's exactly the same as Bitcoin. It's a proof of work, and okay. it, um, you can do everything that Bitcoin can do a, a lot faster and uh, a lot cheaper. And um, the guy, the guys behind it, uh, work within Microsoft. They, the, the guy behind it uh, works as a Microsoft systems engineer. Okay. He works for Microsoft, but he does this cryptography and blockchain technology programming in, in his um, in his spare time in the evenings and the weekend. So. He seems to really know what he's doing, this guy, and um, I'm putting a lot of trust in him. It was great to see the coin go up in value pretty quickly in the last couple of weeks. You know, I, I bought into the coin at less than um, half a cent. Yeah, I saw your videos. Quite amazing what, you, what you've done. So, uh, what's the price now? I'm looking at my phone now. Um, yeah, the price has gone up a little bit today. It's gone up to... Um, it's up six percent today. It's not far off six thousand satoshi. So it's slow and it's slow and steady right now. But it went up to twenty cents a few days ago. Twenty cents. That was a quite a high price, and uh, it's dropped back a bit now. So do you have some more? Uh, can I, maybe not on this call because I know you have your agenda. But as if I really wanted to move into that, buying those coins as well, you could help us to do those and and uh, show us how you actually uh, work with the Bittrex platform and actually start to acquire some coins and build a portfolio that way? Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple to buy these coins. You just, um, you can buy any coin really on um, on this Bittrex platform. You know, have you opened up a Bittrex account yet? Yes, I did. I just recently did that two days ago. Right, okay. So um, let me... Um, yeah, once you've got a Bitrex account, that's a free account. Anyone can open up one of those, and um, you can buy any coins. And I've bought. Um, I'll, I'll log into my account now, and I'll show you. Um, I've bought a lot of coins, you know. Okay. I keep buying them all the time, and um, I'm in this for the long term, you know. Yes, exactly, and that's what I'm interested in. That's what I really resonate with your message. Yeah, some people can. Can trade these coins but um, yeah if you can trade coins and know when to sell and when to buy that's, that's even great because you can obviously make a lot of money from that but I don't really want to be emotionally attached to all these buying and selling of coins you know sometimes you can buy the wrong price sell uh -huh. the wrong price I just rather um, I just rather get in as soon as I can and then Basically, just let it go, forget about it, and um, I look at it as a, as a three-year plan. And okay. Same as Bitcoin, you know. We all got into Bitcoin a few years ago, and um, the price has gone up great, you know, greatly. So um, I've hit a million dollars now in, in in Bitcoin value. So by just buying coins and just holding on to them. Yes. Yes. That's 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 yeah. that's my interest. Same thing. I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself. But uh, I'll shoot you an email afterwards, and maybe we could talk one on one about 
something. So yeah, I'll catch up with you later. I'm back on at nine o'clock, and um, message me on Facebook is the best as well. Message me on Facebook. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Catch up later. Okay. Cheers, eh? Catch you. Catch you later. Cheers. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Right. This. Um, yeah, I'm just logging into my um, Bitrex account here now, and um, this is for people that just want to start buying coins, basically any type of cryptocurrency coin. They're all listed on you. Most well, most of them are. Bitrex is more or less the number one. You've got Polyon X as well. There's a few different exchanges. I tend to use Bitrex. And as you can see, uh, my portfolio is sitting at $568,000 in Bitcoin. So, um, as you can see, I've got Grosscoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dashcoin. I've got a number of different coins here. I'm just basically um, adding to these coins, you know, um, every when I can. You know, as soon as, soon as, in, as soon as money comes in from wherever, from my affiliate programs. I'm in the process of selling some properties. I'm moving up to the property market slowly or selling some up, quite a few up and um, I'm putting my money into cryptocurrency, um, spreading my risk from property. You know, I obviously gold and silver as well. But this particular coin here, which was, as we just started to talk about, it's called Groistel coin. Uh, I think it's got some potential. Like I said, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, don't put all your money into one particular coin. Spread your risk. As you can see, this sits at 15 cents right now. I'm not sure if we can blow that up. There you go. On the right-hand side here, there's the price in Satoshi. It's 5935. That's 5,935 Satoshis or 0.0005935 of a Bitcoin. That's the Bitcoin value there. And that's the dollar value, 15 cents. So I bought this when it was less than half a cent. So I've had like 30 times my, my money in theory. I haven't cashed out yet. I'm staying in this for the long term. But if you look at the graph here, if I set this to, um, let's have a look, one week. Uh, where are we here? Here we go. Um, this, was the this was January. This is when I got involved, okay, um, the start of the year. You can see the price in January, the, at the start of this year in January, it was around about um, just a couple of hundred dollars in Satoshi value. So it was about 300, 400 Satoshis. If you'd have got in in um, December last year, you would have got it at 100 Satoshis. So um, that would have been really, really cheap. Like I got in at around um, 400 Satoshis here. And as you can see, March, end of March, it started to go off on one, it started to go up, then it dropped back again, and now it's going up again. So it hit, it hit the point of um, nearly 8,000 Satoshis there, around 20 cents a few days ago, but it's dropped back a little bit now. So yes, coins go up and down. So yeah, there is risk there. As you can see at the moment, I just changed that to a 30 minute chart. As you can see, it's up and down and all over the place right now. So I don't tend to look at this. I just buy the coins and I leave them carry on. And uh, if it drops again tomorrow or next week, I may buy some more. I'll probably leave this as it is now. If, if it does drop to say less than 10 cents, I may buy some more. But if you haven't bought any already, I would suggest even buy at 15 cents. You know, why not? You know, imagine buying Imagine buying Bitcoin when it was 15 cents, you know, five, six years ago, or 2009, 10, 11, 12. If you would have bought Bitcoin at 15 cents and stuck a few hundred dollars in, you'd be a multimillionaire now just on buying at, at that 15 cents value. So, yeah, there's lots of coins out there. Um, don't get me wrong. If you're completely new to this, just go on to coinmarketcap.com. And this, this will give you a list of all the, the top, well, there's thousands of coins out there right now, but this will give you the, the top sort of um, 100 coins. As you can see, Bitcoin is there, is number one, Ethereum, number two, Ripple, Litecoin, Dash, Monero, all these different coins. But it's up to you, you know, you can spread your risk. 
in a number of different ways rather risk. You can also look at um, worldcoinindex.com. It's very similar to coinmarketcap.com. It has a similar, a similar um, listing of coins. On this particular one, Ethereum is number one, Litecoin is number two, and Bitcoin is number three. So they've got, obviously got a different way of, um, of listing these coins. They, I, I'd work between these two sort of um, listings, CoinMarketCap, World Coin Index, and start researching these coins. You know, I, I can't do it all. I'm not, I'm not an expert in all these coins. But you, you can Google these coins, get onto YouTube, search these coins, find out who's behind the coins, who the, who the developers are, what plans they got. It's going to take a lot of time. Decide on which, um, and you can decide on which coins you want to um, invest into. Okay, so... Um, I've just muted everyone because there's a bit of a, a lot of bit of a background noise coming in. So if you want to come on live and speak or ask any questions, you're gonna to have to um, put a message now in the in the chat. Okay, so these are the two um, the two um, websites I use for um, checking out. What are the top 10, 20 coins? You know, Coin Market Cap and World Coin uh, Index. For um, for storing bitcoins or um, holding your bitcoins, I use uh, a number of different exchanges. One is um, blockchain. I use blockchain. I'm going to show you how to send Bitcoins from blockchain. I'm logging into blockchain now. Let me just put my Google Authenticator on. This is the fast and easy way of setting up a Bitcoin wallet. Just go to blockchain.info, set up a wallet very quickly. Okay, so I'm logged into my blockchain wallet. As you can see, I got 500. As you can see, I got just short of $600,000 here in my blockchain account. I've got um, I got over 564,000 there. So you can see I'm a, I'm a millionaire basically in Bitcoin value, 600,000 there, and. Um, 564,000 there. Let me just add that up. 600,000 more or less. 564,000. That's 1.164 million. I've also got um, another wallet here called um, Exodus. I re recommend I got, I got a $5,000 in here as well. So Basically, as a complete beginner, you've got, got the choice of either setting up a wallet in blockchain.info, this one here, okay, blockchain.info, or even just as good, if not even better, you've got this Exodus system, which is a more of an offline system, which uh, apparently is giving you some more safety to, from, from hackers, because this your Bitcoins are actually stored uh, offline, okay, and... Um, and all, everything is basically encrypted within within the Exodus platform. You can download this um, this this app at Exodus E X O D U S dot I O. Okay. So as you can see, um, I've only got Bitcoins on you right now. I haven't got any Dash or Ethereum. I haven't transferred any of this over yet. I got five thousand dollars in value in Bitcoin. So say for example, I click on wallet. Say I want to receive some Bitcoins here. I click on receive. Okay. I'll copy this address. There you go. So this is my Bitcoin wallet address in Exodus. I'll go into my blockchain account. I'll click on send. I'll paste that wallet address in there. I want to send, say, one Bitcoin. And click on continue, okay? 
This is now sending one Bitcoin, $2,500 worth from my blockchain account to my Exodus account. Let's click on send. One Bitcoin, there you go. $2,500 worth. That's been confirmed. So that's how easy it is to send Bitcoin from one wallet to another. There you go, it's pending, okay. That can it can take a good few hours for that to reach this wallet. It has been instant on some occasions. I got two Bitcoin there right now, so that should show three Bitcoin in the next couple of hours. I may come back to that in a bit in, in a bit. So yeah, you've got a number of um, options here to um, for setting up um, Bitcoin wallet addresses, okay. Another one I, I've been using over the past is bitstamp.net. I actually use this to buy Bitcoins and sell Bitcoins as well. So that's bitstamp.net. This is pretty um, reputable and uh, I've, I've withdrawn like $100,000 back into my bank account using Bitstamp. So I can guarantee that this system is, is pretty good. So there's lots of different options, you know, if you want to just set up a basic um, uh, wallet address for um, Bitcoin. Okay, so again, this is all basic stuff for most people, but um, for the new people, it's a bit of, a, it's a bit of, a, of an experience. But what I'm doing, guys, okay, I'm using a company called Swiss Go Global. To, uh, to mine Bitcoin, um, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Dashcoin, okay? So I'll show you my back office on this and how this is going. But what I recommend you do is definitely start this off and start mining Bitcoins. You can start with as little as $30, okay? There's no monthly charge. Just just buy a $30 mining package and see how it performs. You know, you'll, get, you'll be pretty excited about it and then guarantee you'll end up buying more of these $30 packages. This is my live feed here, okay, on Facebook. So you need to go to this link here, okay? Set up a free Bitcoin mining account. Let me just put it in the chat in um, in Zoom. I'm in Zoom as well. Lenny Knight is asking for the Exodus. Yeah, exodus.io, Lenny, okay? I'll put it in the chat. It's a simple website, Exodus. .io. Yeah, um, Frankie's saying click on the click on the logo to refresh. Yeah, you're right there, um, Frankie. Just two seconds. Get that back up. My phone's busy today. Somebody ringing me from the Czech Republic. I have no idea where that is. Put that one on hold. Let's just see what this is. Hold on. Hello, Adrian you speaking. All right. I, I, I tell you what, the line is really bad. You're ringing me on, um, the line is really bad. You're ringing me on WhatsApp and uh, the connection is really bad. I'm live on Facebook right now on Zoom. So perhaps you want to come into my uh, live call right now? The connection is really bad, okay? Yeah, come into my live call on Facebook or Zoom. Um, I'm live right now and um, you can ask some questions there. Yeah. Okay, send me your Skype address, but I am, I am live on Facebook right now on Zoom, so I, I'd recommend you come on there right now and um, you can ask any questions, but otherwise um, message me later and I'll try and come on to Skype. Okay, cheers everybody. That was a terrible line, there was some guy ringing me from Czech Republic. Let me try and do that. Um, 
Hold on a minute. Yeah, I'm refreshing it. Um, Frankie, we're still obviously showing us um, two Bitcoins. But as you can see, my blockchain account is showing zero out of three confirmations anyway. So none of the com none of the confirmations have started yet. So it's not going to um, appear until this shows um, three out of three there. Okay. You can come back to the chat. Right, Stephen Hyde is saying. Um, Hi, Stephen. Swiss code. Every time he tries to log in, it says access denied. That's because you need to clear your cache and cookies, Stephen, and uh, start again. Yeah, so um, you need to clear your cash and cookies there, okay? Where are we by here? Um, There you go, guys. The one Bitcoin has, um, I've just re-scanned, re reloaded the page. Yeah, thanks for that, Frankie. Got that now. I got the three dollars, um, the three dollars, the three bitcoins there. I gotta be honest, guys. I keep most of my bitcoins on this wallet, little wallet here. Okay, Exodus is a great um, online wallet, offline wallet. Obviously, everything everything's encrypted. But I do spread. I don't put all my 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 coins on Exodus or blockchain. I spread them as well between uh, a lot. I got I got this one particular wallet called uh, a Trezor, and I'm in the in the process of buying two more of these. Um, the Ledger one, and the, I think it's one called the Nano one. There's two other versions, different companies that have these hardware wallets as well. So I'm going to be spreading my Bitcoins over three different hardware wallets as well like this, which are completely offline, as well as Exodus, okay? So um, it's a good idea to, to spread your Bitcoins around. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, as they say, just in case there's um, an opportunity to get hacked, especially when you've got a lot of... Um, a lot of bitcoins, okay. So it's, it's well worth getting one of those as well. That's Trezor. Dot, um, Trezor. Dot io, okay. For anyone who's new. Put that in the chat as well. Okay, so as I was saying, guys, Swiss I Swiss Gold Global is my number one um, online business right now. Okay, it's in my definitely in my top three, and um, it's number one from a potential point of view, a long-term potential point of view. I think this has got massive long-term potential and um, longevity attached to it. You know, I really think that this this has all been already been around for eight years. And um, I really think this will be wrong for another eight years when a lot of the others will be gone. So basically, this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not guaranteeing you any daily payouts. But um, I class this as a get rich, uh, very slow scheme. If you stick with it, 
you, you can build it nicely, you know? So what I recommend you do is um, set up a free account on my Facebook page. You have this link here, okay? Set up a free Bitcoin mining account, okay? Put it in the chat here. Hi, Matt Feast, how are you doing? Great to, great to see you on board again. Matt has uh, hit, um, I, I believe, $100 now. I think he's um, blown past $100 a day, which is really good. Matt was one of the guys that got into Swiss gold right back, more or less, when I did. Back, um, back when was it last? Um, well, I actually joined Swiss gold last, I think it was August, September last year, but I didn't actually kick off with it until... Um, the end of November when I bought my first Bitcoin mining package. So what I'm going to show you now basically quickly for new people. Again, it gets a bit re repetitive, guys, but this is for new people. Click on my link here, set up a free Bitcoin mining account. That will take you to this page here. Okay, scroll down, take in the information. As you, as you can see, get paid daily in Bitcoin, Dash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Watch this little um, simple video, take in the information. As you can see, founded in 2008. Uh, so Swiss Gold has been around specializing in gold and silver, more or less bullion sales, okay? And um, Aga Arias Gold, top quality gold, right up there. The, the likes are like Bentley, you know, Rolls Royce, the Rolls Royce in gold, you know, gold supplies. And uh, the, gold, the gold is stored free of charge at a Swiss vault. You can pick it up yourself if you want, or you can get it delivered to your home address. But that's what it's been specializing in, gold and silver for the last eight years. But um, since November last year, more or less, it's integrated, it's brought on um, Bitcoin mining, and now also Dash, Ethereum, and Litecoin mining packages as well. So click on open free account, and then go for it here, okay? Zero, um, zero dollars. You scroll down. These are only this. Um, these higher payments here. Don't rush into um, pay, making these payments. Just talk to me first. These. This is only if you want to become an affiliate and really build this business. But um, it doesn't necessarily mean the highest amount here is the best. Every person is different, you know. So it's best to chat first before you um, jump into this. And um, I'm actually on the $249 package, and I'm paying $50 a month. But um, at some point, I will be. Upgrading again to what they call um, this pack, the ambassador package here, because as my team grows, I'm going to get more commissions on this ambassador package at some point. But at the moment, I'm happy enough on this $50 a month subscription. The, the company's getting money off me. It's um, keeping the company above water, it's keeping it sustainable. And also, I'm getting um, $13 in Bitcoin mining power or $13 in silver every month. You can choose whichever you want. Okay, so you're not really paying $50 a month. You're only paying $37 a month, really. And for every person I introduce, I get $7.50 commission. So, oh, I'm in profit anyway. It's not costing me anything right now. You know, this is, I'm in profit. I'm making money. So this is, is this is irrelevant for me, a $50 a month subscription. So, but it's worth thinking of paying that if you are serious about um, building a team and taking, it, taking your income to the next level. It's quite funny, really, because people moan about... Um, about monthly auto ships. I, I see loads of people that they don't, don't like the fact that um, a company's charging, you know, 30, 40, 50 dollars a month. But um, they, they, they stick they month, they stick a couple of grand, a thousand, two or three or even five thousand into a, an online program and lose it in six months because that program gets shut down for whatever reason. So I don't see the sense in that. Why not pay fifty dollars a month into something that's gonna be around for decades to come? rather than stick a grand or five grand or something, which potentially is high risk and you're going to, you could lose that money. So um, there's plenty of those stories out there. Oh, well done, Matt. Matt has just put in there $950 a week. Wow, great. That's incredible, $950 a week. That's $135 a day. That's, um, well done, Matt, because the last time I seen you, you just passed the $100 mark. So <laughs> you're not far 
Before long, you're going to be on $200 a day before you know it. Think of that, guys, $200 a day. Doesn't really sound much when you think about it, but that's $6,000 a month is $72,000 a year. You know, even $100 a day is $36,000 a year. That's, that's, that's a full-time wage, you know, for most people where they work the rat race. But imagine $200 a day, $72,000 a, a year. That's pretty serious. That's a pretty serious online income. Um, most people would never achieve that in a lifetime, you know. But, um, you know, people are building up to that daily amount now in, in the last six months since this has taken off. People are getting there. So um, it's all happening, you know. There's, there's some real good testimonials coming out now in um, Swiss Gold. Real average people making some decent amounts of money, you know. And this, these, even if you earn twenty dollars a day, you know that's six hundred dollars a month. That's enough to help pay off your your your, your credit card bill or your your catalog bill or or to, uh, help pay towards your mortgage, you know, or your car insurance or your car loans. Those they, they don't sound much. These small figures, twenty, thirty dollars a day, but you know they, they they grow. They help they help you get by. You don't pay off a lot of debts. And that's what it's certainly doing for me. So basically, free account, click on sign up, and then there you go. SGG 2.0, free member, check my names there. You, you'll get your own affiliate link as well, so your name will be shown here as well once you get your own link. Fill out your name and address, date of birth, country, create a username here. I normally tend to use my name, my first and second name. Click on the tick box, and click on create an account, okay? If you um, if you get to a point, I'm going to log in now. If you get to a point when you click on login, you and it says uh, access denied, which ones I think Stephen was just saying earlier, you just clear the cash and cookies on your computer and start again. So just clear cash cookies and browsing history, and you will find that um, you will get back in. Okay. So I'm in my account right now. So imagine this is a brand new account. As you can see, I, I am active. I've uploaded my passport. I've signed up my declaration form. So this needs to show active year and green year. Go straight to the middle here under my crypto. And that gives you um, a number of different options, okay? Dashboard, transaction history, and increased hash rate. The first thing you need to do is scroll down on your dashboard and copy and paste your Bitcoin wallet address in these two boxes here. Okay, so what I would do is um, I would go into my Exodus, for example. I'll click on uh, Receive. Click on um, Copy this address. And then I would um, go back to um, Swiss Gold. And then copy and paste that in the two boxes here. And then click on Terms and Conditions. And then click on Update Wallet, okay? This, this part is pretty slow right now because they are updating the, the site now as I speak, apparently. So that's the first thing you need to do, okay? Copy and paste your Bitcoin wallet address into these two boxes here. Click on Terms and Conditions and click on Update Wallet. Once you've done that, then you can go in and buy a Bitcoin package. Let me just show you quickly how to buy a Bitcoin package, if it let me do that. I don't know why this goes slow sometimes. As you can see, guys, I'm averaging $54 a day right now. I built most of that up from uh, recruiting people, okay? This is my main link that I use for Swiss for re recruiting people. If 
you want one of these um, pages, I can do one for you free of charge. Let me know. Here we go. How to mine and earn Bitcoin daily, okay? Click on watch the video. Then that takes you to my second page. Bitcoin. There you go, okay. A little video there on what Bitcoin is for the newbies. And then basically step one, obviously watch that video, okay? About Bitcoin in general. Step two, obviously set up a free Bitcoin mining account. And watch that video there. Obviously, you can um, click on join now. That takes you straight to the sign up page. Contact me on Facebook. You can watch some more videos here. Uh, start mining now. Give me a ring. So, you've got all the options there, okay, to get in touch. There's no excuses not to get in touch with me. This is a really important video Future Prices on Bitcoin. Watch this for a couple of minutes, guys, while I have a drink and send some traffic. That's big. That's big. And then tell me about the, the price of silver. You're saying that the price of silver is going to actually at some point, and I know you're a big fan of Bitcoin because it's hard, much harder to manipulate, but you're saying that the price of silver is going to go way higher, faster, maybe not more price-wise, but it's going to go up faster than, uh, than gold and even Bitcoin. Explain Correct. That. Correct. Silver's got a, a very interesting future ahead of us because for a number of years, it's going to be increasingly a key component of increasing uh, complex hyper technologies. And so the, the actual, the growth rate, the projection of emotional attachment to silver escalates as we go forward, even out into 2022, which is about as far as I trust my numbers on this. But basically what's gonna happen is silver will break out this year. The manipulation will shift and end for a bit. They'll try and, and ratchet it back in, and then they'll fight this slippery uh, uh, upward from our viewpoint on price battle as they try and suppress the price, but every day they'll lose a little bit of their ability to suppress, and it'll just keep going on like that through this, this year. Then as we get up to the end of the year, somewhere, let's say October, or, yeah, October-ish, uh, we'll get another breakout, and they may not be able to contain it at that point because of what's going to be coming out uh, relative to technology then. And so the, the desperate need for silver will become um, uh, dramatically evident to uh, people all around the planet. And we actually have language of a great silver dishoarding over 2018 and 2019 in many Western countries where the governments and via um, uh, you know, corporations who are seeking to make a profit send people out to assay and purchase silver in the form of old silver plate, silver any way that it can be stripped off of anything, even getting to the point of buying um, uh, old um, uh, film stock uh, chemicals, these kind of things, just to recover the silver. It'll become that uh, precious as we go forward because of the many conflicting uses for it the technologies, the hyper technologies, which will be energy related, and then the spinoffs that will be related to um, uh, health, and then the, the monetization. Now, in the longer longer term- And, and wait, 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 I just want to interrupt you one minute. Sure. In the longer term, your data, hold on, held that thought. So the price would have to be astronomical if they're trying to scrounge, if, you know, silver off of film, the price would have to be astronomical. Is that, am I wrong? It's gotta be, it's gotta be at least as high as $600 an ounce uh, because of the relationship of that particular temporal marker and that price that goes all the way back in our data to 2003. And so I think it'll be much higher than that and it will escalate very rapidly towards uh, parity with gold. And then it will basically get too expensive to use as money. It'll become a, a hyper rare, uh, pretty much industrial chemical only over like these next uh, few years. So that'll extend, as I say, at least out into the 2022 to 2024 range. And then we may get <coughs> some kind of a change. But as of this point, it shows um, that silver mining becomes a very lucrative um, profession here 2019 onward uh, with the first mines just starting to show a little bit of stuff in the early 20. 20s due to new technology, not due to um, uh, standard operating procedures. And if gold, and if silver is $600 an ounce at least, what does that put gold? Three, two, three, four thousand, five thousand, what does that put gold? The, the next number we have for gold is about 4,800. Okay, so we show a slight pullback somewhere in the neighborhood of $4,800 $4, US per ounce of gold. 
I would say that we're looking maybe before March of next year, um, just just making a guesstimate about it because of the it'll and it'll be a one third uh, the value of Bitcoin at that point. So at the point that it does its pullback, it's a little complex, but uh, in just in terms of how it shows up. But so say uh, forty five hundred dollars would be about one third of the value of Bitcoin at the time that gold is at that level, and this is when um, silver has already uh, escalated that the amount of language devoted to it is more than double now. So that would imply, and also the language is spread beyond simply the business and the um, precious metals community. So it's more, much more what we might think of as um, a general population discussion. That would imply that more than 1% uh, of the populace is attempting to buy it. So I would suspect, again, that we're looking at well over $1,000 an ounce for silver at that point. And 4500 for gold, is that what you're saying? 4800 and then it drops down about $300, and then the data shows that when it's dropped down to that point, just curiously, it happens to match for a brief period of time exactly one-third uh, of the price of Bitcoin when gold does that little dip and then it's back up again. So, I mean, you're telling Bitcoin's going to be uh, $1,300, $1, an ounce. Thousands, thousands, $13,008 or something. I think that is the target that the data shows as of uh, February of next year. Oh, boy, oh, boy. We're talking about exploding uh, gold, silver, and Bitcoin prices. Explode. No, 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 sorry. Bitcoin is simply escalating. It doesn't explode until 2019. Oh, but gold and silver explodes and tries to catch up with Bitcoin, but it won't. A Bitcoin just is, is, is on an arc where it's just going to continually go up. Let me give you some shocking numbers here. If you just looked at it against Bitcoin, against existing stockpile of gold right now, and you recognize that they both had attributes that made them similar. There's one uh, Bitcoin available on the planet for every thousand ounces of gold. Oh boy. Huh. That's uh, so. Yeah. Wow. 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 And you can't. And, and can't you just manufacture more Bitcoin? No. There's the finite limit of the, of the 21 million that'll be uh, created, and that's it. And thereafter, we have to really, thereafter in the Bitcoin community is when things get really interesting for us because then we start um, mining through, so to speak, processing through all the decibits and millibits and spreading out the wealth around the planet. That's at least the Chinese approach is that uh, when the Bitcoins are all mined, then it becomes very interesting because then you can actually do things with the money, so to speak, and the wealth that it um uh, represents in a way that we can't quite now because the focus is on creating that next Bitcoin as opposed to shoving more value further down, so to speak, into decibits and millibits. And where do you think ultimately, you know, in the 2020, 2025 range, where do you think gold and silver end up? If in the years 2020, 2025, where in that time frame? Well, uh, we don't have numeric values, okay? We rarely get those. We have a emotional uh, quantifiers that are applied. And so for silver, we have language that says that the people that are the silver stackers are gonna have multiple generations in their families praise their names for being so smart because these guys will be creating fortunes that will travel down several generations in a family. So that gives you some idea. Oh, wow, unbelievable. Uh, and I wanted to get into uh, that, the, the nastiness, and I want to end up with, as I did last time, Antarctica. Uh, and, and okay, Mark. guys, so you see that there, silver, gold, and Bitcoin potentially is going to explode by um, October. October this year, apparently, there's going to be a breakout in silver. It's going to go up probably 30, 40, 50 times, hitting as high as, high as $1,000. And Bitcoin is looking to hit the $13,000. I was at $14,000, $13,000, dollars by February next year. So you can either take this with a pinch of salt and maybe all hype and BS, but at the end of the day, I'd rather have money in the likes of silver. I haven't got as much in silver as I want right now. I've got more in Bitcoin, but I'm certainly going to be pumping more money into silver over the next couple of weeks, just in case this does break out in October this year. I'd rather be in it than not in it, if you know what I mean. I don't want to miss the boat. Yes, Gene, glad you've started saving silver. Yeah, same here, Gene. Um, my plan is just to save silver on a weekly, daily basis and get as much silver as I can. As I was just saying before, if it does break out, look what happened to Ethereum the last couple of um, weeks. You know, we went from $10 up to like $400. It's dropped back a bit now, but 
you know, I'm, I'm pretty sick about that one. Um, you, if you'd have stuck 10 grand into Ethereum just a few months ago, you'd be up 400, you could have potentially sold at $400,000 when it hit, when it hit the $400 price, it's dropped back to 200 something no dollars. But you know, even now you, you'd be over $200,000 up off your, off your $10,000 um, investment. So a lot of people are sitting pretty sick now after what, what's happened to Ethereum over the last couple of weeks. Okay, so um, I'm in my back office here. Um, there you go, it's working now. Transaction history, as you can see, okay? This is all under my crypto. So, um, as you can see, July the 6th today, is it? Yeah, July the 6th. As you can see, how many transactions that have gone through? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 people in my team today have, have um, either bought um, Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin, or they've actually, they've, they've either bought it with new with new money or they've actually compounded their existing Bitcoins, one of the two, okay? So, uh, and yesterday, what well, we yesterday, the 5th of July, yesterday, nine transactions yesterday, the fourth was pretty busy. As you can see, the third was pretty busy. I'm getting this every single day, like clockwork, into my Bitcoin wallet. There's over a thousand transactions, you know, since I started this back in November. I got over a thousand. There you go. 1,160 transactions since November the 26th when I bought my first Bitcoin package. As you can see, guys, this is called an open ended Bitcoin package. It's a lifetime package. As long as Bitcoin stays profitable, which hopefully we all think it will over the next couple of years. It's going to go up, hopefully. Then this will keep paying us every um, every day into our Bitcoin wallet, okay? Um, endlessly. For the next, basically, um, Bitcoin finishes mining in the year 2140. I think it's 120 years left, believe it or not, on Bitcoin mining. So Swiss Go Global will continue to pay us well into our... Um, into our life, you know, basically. So 120 years, obviously, is a long time. So something like this, you're going to be passing down a lot of wealth to, um, to your family and children as well. So, and you can get going with as little as $30, okay? Click on increase hash rate, as you can see on the right-hand side, okay? Click on this, scroll down, then click on start now. There's only Bitcoin and Ethereum available right now. The other packages have run out, but they are coming back, apparently. Bitcoin, for example, click on next. And as you can see, this is set to $30. The hand is set to $30. That's 0.2 terahash or 200 gigahash of mining power or computation power is the same thing. You need to move the hand and it moves up in $30 increments. So you can, you can buy $30, 60, 90, 120, 840. What I recommend you do if you've got the money is go up to 1,950. <clears throat> That'll give you 13 terahash, okay, of mining. But if you move the hand to the top, you actually get 15 terahash for the same amount. You get two to three terahash of mining if you can afford to pay $1,950, okay? Click on next. You can do a bank wire, you can pay by credit card, you can pay by Bitcoin. You can even send me the money and I'll buy you a gift certificate, I'll buy you in. So you've got that option as well. Bitcoin is my preferred option. Click on, tick the box. As you can see, $1,950, 15 terahash is an open-ended contract. Click on confirm and then make that payment through your, through your Bitcoin wallet and you're in. There you go. Send the money here to this wallet address. Click on the wallet address there. Copy down to your mouse. Go into your Bitcoin wallet. Click on send. Paste the wallet address in there. And this is the important part, okay? Very important. Um, as well as the wallet address, Bitcoin amount, copy and paste it like for like onto your mouse, 0.7692, exactly as it says, as it states, and paste that in the, in the send box, there you go, and then send that, okay? That's how you um, buy um, a Bitcoin mining package, very, very simple. Josh is asking, how does he become part of this life-changing venture? Send me a private message, Josh, but I have put the, I have pinned the, um, 
the link for joining in the chat you okay it's in the chat okay Just set up a free account, Josh, and just look to spend at least thirty dollars and, and get get um, get into the system. That's the best thing. Okay, guys, this is it's as easy as that. Let me cancel that transaction. So anyway, I've been going an hour now. Normally, this session normally is only supposed to be around about half an hour. My four o'clock session. I will be, I will be back at. Um, at nine o'clock tonight to do this all again. So I would take this Swiss Go Global opportunity very serious. There's a lot of stuff out there, a lot of high risk programs out there. You gotta be very careful what you get involved with. But this I, I class is a fairly low risk opportunity. Uh, like, like I said, it's been around for eight years already. And um, I would go fast to say that, that this will be around for another eight years even when um, a lot of the others will, will, will have come and gone, okay? As you can see, I've got some commissions in my wallet here, $1,100. I can use that now. I can either withdraw that to my um, PayPal account, to my bank account, or I can use it to buy my more, more mining power, okay? So it's all looking pretty good. So let me just check in the chat, guys, before I shoot off. Any more questions? Cheers, Stephen. Yeah, that worked. The um, clicking the logo that worked. That's great. Thanks for that. Stephen is asking, how do I buy a package on Swiss Gold? Well, I just showed you exactly there live, Stephen, what I did to buy a package. If somebody signs underneath you, Stephen, as a free member, you would get 2.5% um, commission uh, on what they bring in. So it's computation power, mining power. You get paid in mining power, okay? 2.5%, which is better than being paid dollars or pounds or euros. So as I just showed you earlier, all those transactions on my account are people that I brought in. So most of the money I've earned in Swiss gold that I'm earning on a daily basis from the people that I brought in okay so I know we don't like recruiting a lot of people don't like recruiting they, they don't know how to recruit but I would see this you look at bringing people into this it's pretty credible it's all above board okay so we're in more or less every single country in, in the world including America okay we, we, we're all we're regulated and the legislation is all up to scratch in America so this um, take this very serious France is asking, should Bitcoin holders be worried about the BIP 148? No, I'm not worried about this BIP 148 on the August 1st. I'll probably take a week off and go on holiday. No, I'm not going to worry about it. I just, as long as you've got your Bitcoins um, offline on something like this, like a Trezor, or stored somewhere safe, don't leave your Bitcoins on, um, on, a, on an exchange, you know, where potentially things could go wrong. I I'd get your Bitcoins offline for the first ready for the 1st of August and um, just see how things go from there. Don't worry about it, basically. As long as you've got the coins in your possession, you can let them sort out the, the situation, you know. But I, I'm, a, I'm pretty positive it's going to go in everyone's favor and uh, everyone wants Bitcoin to work, even all the, the top guys out there, you know, who are behind all this. So um, I'm pretty confident it'll, everything will be back to normal um, a couple of days after August the 1st. Send me a private message, Stephen, on Facebook about this landing page. I can try and help you there. Not a problem. France is asking how to set up compounding. You don't set up compounding, France. Um, all my daily Bitcoin rewards and income comes directly into my Bitcoin wallet, okay? As you can see here, let me just log in. So... It comes into my Bitcoin wallet and then I got the choice then whether I want to buy more packages and compound myself. So it's not automatic, there's no, there's no automatic compound in this, okay? 
So for example, yeah, there's my money, there's my Swiss gold money coming in here, okay? $63 there. Yesterday, another $63 the other day before. I'm averaging around about $50, $60 a day. Another $61 there. So as soon as the money comes into my Bitcoin wallet, I got the choice. I can either withdraw this to my bank account or I can compound and buy more packages with this using my blockchain wallet, okay? So what I would do then is just go back into Swissco Global and um, buy another package. It's as simple as that. Just click on increase hash rate. Start now. Next. And there you go, $30. Click on next. And I would use Bitcoin. Click on next. Click on confirm. And I would buy another $30 package. As soon as $30 arrives in my, as soon as $30 arrives in my um, Bitcoin wallet, wallet, as soon as $30 arrives here, then I buy another package. So I'm compounding it. At the moment, I'm earning around $50, $60 a day, so I can buy two new packages every single day. So that increases my, my mining power, increases my, um, my daily income. So at, at some point, I'm gonna be on a few hundred dollars a day at some point, you know, I, I, I can always guarantee that. And the more people I'm bringing in, the more, um, the more competition power that I'm, I'm earning. Teresia, yes, yeah, send me a private message, that's great. Gene is asking about moving your Bitcoins offline. Depends how many Bitcoins you've got, Gene, I wouldn't worry about it that much. Um, the best way is to, um, quickest way just to sort of take it more or less semi offline. This is completely offline, more or less, by getting one of these Trezor wallets, okay, Gene? Um, it costs you $99. But if you don't want to spend the $99 just yet, just set up um, an Exodus wallet, which will be which you can download onto your um, computer. And that is more or less taking your Bitcoins um, offline, okay? Let me bring up my wallet here. There it is here on the bottom here, okay? Gene, okay, not no, Gene is saying not a lot just now. So if you haven't got a lot, Gene, you know, if you've only got fifty hundred dollars or a couple of hundred dollars of bitcoins, there's no point in paying ninety nine dollars for this. Okay, you're better off using your ninety nine dollars and buying three more bitcoin mining packages. Does that make sense? What's the point of spending ninety nine hundred dollars on one of these when you can get three bitcoin mining packages for ninety dollars, and that's going to earn you every day? By buying one of these, it's not going to ruin you every day. It's going to protect you, obviously. But if you only got a couple of Bitcoin, a couple of hundred dollars of Bitcoin, to me, it's not worth buying one of these just yet. So, um, so Gene, that, that's the answer to that. Okay, so. Um, There you go. So, or otherwise, Gene, just, just set up one of these, okay? Set up a, a wallet with Exodus, as I said earlier. I'm not sure if you was on the call earlier. Go to exodus.io, Gene, and set up one of these. This is free of charge, and you can send your Bitcoins here for now without any worries, okay? This is um, pretty safe. So I, I would say, Gene, go for this one here until you build up um, until you build up a couple of thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin, then you can start to spread it and take it offline. I'm going to be leaving some on Exodus because I can use this pretty quickly to transact and buy things and send money around. But um, for long-term storage and safety, I would take it offline onto one of these, okay? Uh, 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 this is what they call a Trezor, okay? T-R-E-Z-O-R, uh, the website, T-R-E-Z-O-R.io. It's gonna cost you $99. Okay, Gene, thanks for that. Um, Blanks, hi there. Blanks is asking a good question. What, um, what do you need in this, in this Swiss Code Global to get $50 a day? You're going to need um, a, a, a $1,950 package, okay? Let me log in again. 
a $1,950 package is going to pay you around about $10 a day, okay? So you're going to get $50, you need five times that. So you're going to need about $10,000 worth of mining power. So if you stuck $10,000 into Swiss Gold today, right now, bought five of those um, packages, 1,950 packages, that would be a $10,000 investment. Uh, that would more or less guarantee you $50 every single day, seven days a week. That would be $350 uh, a week. Uh, and that will start $350, 700 that's about $1,400 a month, okay? That will guarantee you that. If Bitcoin goes up in value, then that daily, that uh, $50 a day goes up in value, you know? And uh, that, that's going to continue paying you for the lifetime as long as Bitcoin is profitable. Let me show you this. Uh, if you went to Google, okay, like this, and click on Bitcoin Calculator. There you go, Bitcoin Calculator. And look for this one, you're the third one down called Aloscomp, okay? And click on this. This will tell you how much um, you make basically on a daily basis. This is um, all above board. You can't mess around with this, okay? If anyone is saying they're paying, if anyone is promising to double, they, double your Bitcoins in 30, 60, or 90 days, be very careful. You, you probably get involved with a scam because it's impossible to double your Bitcoin in 30, 60, 90 days through a real mining process, okay? It's absolutely impossible, end of. So this figure, this difficulty factor you, you can't you can't change, it's stuck there. Um, this, this is the exchange rate today, for example, okay? Two, five, that's two and a half thousand dollars for one Bitcoin. You can't change the block size. So say you've put in your, um, I know $1,950, okay, is um, 15 terahash, okay? That's, that's 15 terahash, as I showed you earlier. Let me just click on increase hash rate again. There's a delay on this, hold on. Just two seconds. I don't know why there's a delay on clicking this increase hash rate and these three tabs here. I think they're working on the back office. But anyway, um, I'll leave that do its thing there. But take my word for it, guys. 15 terahash, okay? If you rewind this, this replay, is $1,950, okay? So, Let me just do this here, okay? $1,950 investment, okay? Equals 15 terahash. T, TH stands for terahash, okay? For all the newbies. Mining power. Now, very very rough and approximate, that's going to pay you $10 a day. I know that for a fact because that's what's happening. I've, uh, I'm getting paid it now and people in my team that have bought this package are getting paid that. And I've seen the proof and that works, okay? So it's $10 a day, that's $300 more or less a month. So that's a pretty good return, guys. $1,950 in today, $10 a day, $300 a month. You work it out six months time, six times three hundred in six, six, just over six months time, you've got your money back. Okay, you've broken even. Okay, so six months time, you've got your money back. Okay, and broke even. That's without doing anything, without building the team, without clicking any adverts, doing anything. It's completely passive. Okay. 100% passive. No, no, nothing to do, okay? So let me just show you that roughly on here. 
If I stick 15 terahash in there and click on calculate, there you go, you're okay. Per day, now as you, as you can see, it's showing you $13 a day. Now we don't get the full $13 a day. Um, a proportion of this goes to the, the exchange and, and the people that are mining the Bitcoins, okay? The people that have spent millions of dollars in the hardware, um, which are renting the land and the warehouses, you know, with all these ant, with all these machinery and hardware and ant miners, as they call it, stored. You know, the, the electric apparently costs millions of dollars every month for, for, for electric to run all these um, Bitcoin mining machines. So that is what 15 terahash would produce, $13 a day. If you were to set this up yourself and do this all up yourself, basically. So you could go out there and buy um, an ant miner on eBay or Amazon, a 15 terahash miner, and this would produce you $13 every single day. But I know for a fact, if you wanted to buy one of these machines or hardware, um, one of these ant miners, it's going to cost you about two or three thousand dollars, okay? And then um, good luck with that because you, you may get your money back in, in, a, in a month or two months, but then that technology that you bought would, would have gone up to date and you'd have to sell it back to somebody else and then buy a new one. So um, it's, it's pretty stressful. I know a lot of people have done it. So basically, this calculator here tells you this paying us 13 cents you want a day. So at the moment, we're getting around $10 a day. So 13 minus 10, the, the network, the miners are, are taking 371 a day for their profits. And they, uh, that's their overhead to run everything, okay? We can't do it without the miners, basically. So you, you've got a rough idea there. So the more terahash you want, if you bought um, five of these packages, which would be 10 grand, that would be 75 terahash. You can calculate. There you go, that pays $68 a day, but I know for a fact that that's, that's paying us around $50 a day times you time you take out the overheads of running it, okay? Let me just check if there any um, questions that are coming in. Okay. Um, France, yeah, okay, you can see that. Lenny's asking, um, do mining packages compound daily? Yes, you, you, it's not automatic. There's no switch you switch on or off, Lenny. You have to compound manually, okay? You have to comp. So the money comes into your Bitcoin wallet every day. As I just showed you, there's my Bitcoin wallet here. So your $10 a day comes into your account, okay? Whatever on that, in that example. So you think about it, guys. If you're running $10 a day, Every three days, you've earned $30. So every three days, you can compound and buy another Bitcoin mining package. As you can see here, I'm earning um, $64 a day on average. Okay, there, okay? $63 there. So I can buy two packages a day if I wanted to. Okay, which I do. I, I compound. 61, 61 there, 62 there. I'm earning every day, okay? Money's coming to my account. So you have to compound it manually. And I like that because it keeps it, um, all about bold and for real. None of this, um, you know, hidden stuff, you know, where the, the gray area side of things, you know what I mean? Uh, where where, where the, uh, the authorities, you know, the SEC look at things, the trading standards look at things, and uh, they, they like to see everything that's transparent and real. And that's what I like about Swiss gold. Everything is transparent and everything is real. Um, so, yes, Lenny, to answer that question, mining, the mining packages... You have to compound daily yourself manually, okay? Stephen is asking, can I sign up someone using the same IP address? Um, yes. I wouldn't have thought there'd be a problem in that. Um, so I'm assuming you, if Stephen, if you want to bring somebody to your home address and use your own computer to sign them up, you can do that, not a problem. But obviously, they're going to need their own passport and or, or, or driver license or, or form of picture ID anyway. So the IP address is irrelevant. As long as they, they, are, they are a completely different person to you, obviously, which they are, and they've got their own passport, their own ID, then um, you can sign up as many people as you want at your home address, okay? And um, you can have them queuing up at the door. As long as they've got their passport and their ID, you can sign them all up from your, from your address. Neil is asking, what is the minimum to get started? And um, that's, that's a great question, and, I, and that's what I love about this business. I'm not sure if you just missed what I was doing earlier, Neil. Um, 
There you go, increase hash rate, okay. Start now, Bitcoin, click on next. There you go, $30, you can see that. $30 is the minimum package to start mining. It's set to $30, you can't put it any lower. Well, you can obviously down to zero, but $30 is the, is the first package. It goes up in $30 increments. <clears throat> well, don't get me wrong, guys. If you, I would certainly just buy a $30 package just for the hell of it. Just test it and see what this is all about. Come into the back office, attend the weekly webinars. But what I'm doing is also weekly webinars from the CEO as well. It's worth attending those as well. And um, I'm not sure if there's one on tonight. Let me just take a look. Could be one actually running now as we speak. Because I run over here. Hold on. My computer's running slow, you just think, unless there's no webcast. There's normally a, a live webcast here, but um, it probably hasn't updated today. Let me have a look. No. There's normally a webcast, normally on a Wednesday or a Thursday, around about six, seven o'clock, one or two of those a week, sometimes a Monday and a Tuesday as well. We got Claudia um, Eifert from Germany, the lady has been in it for, um, since the beginning, uh, the top earner within Swiss Gold. She does a, a live webcast, and we got Bill himself, the CEO, he does a live webcast as well. And some of them I've been recording, and some of them, some of them are on my um, on my page. For example, this one here. Um, if you come onto this page here and click on um, more training videos, you can see some of the videos here. Okay, from um, there's the CEO himself attending one of the um, farms, the Bitcoin mining farm. Hi, this is Bill Well, founder and CEO of Cisco Global. As you know, here in uh, in Iceland, as a guest of Genesis Mining, to see one of the mining farms that they have around the world. So let's go in and hear and see these rigs in action. Let's go in. So guys, that video is 10 minutes long, okay? I got that on my channel. You can actually copy this video yourself and put it onto your own channel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the chat, okay? Follow my YouTube channel, okay? So you get my live feeds. I'll just put that in the chat. There you go, it's in the chat, okay? So make sure you watch that video in your own time. It's about six minutes long. It shows Bill Rowell out in Iceland visiting the, um, the Bitcoin mining farm, basically. So I'm pretty confident about this. This gets my number one recommendation, Swiss Gold. This is not just about Bitcoin, don't forget. This is about silver as well. This is about wealth protection, gold, silver, Bitcoin, Ethereum, a number of other different coins, including Litecoin, Dashcoin. So um, there's a lot more coming on board as well, you know, so we're only just kicking off with this, you know, so still very early days. And um, I recommend that um, you watch this video um, from, um, 
from Bill Rowell, the CEO. Okay, and come on to my. If you if you um, register up with the the main Swissco Global um, YouTube channel, you, you're going to get all the videos from corporate and from Bill himself as well. So I tend to take a few copies of these and put them onto my own um, onto my own YouTube channel. Okay, to show you uh, to, to have it in, um, in an orderly fashion, as they say. So this is, like I said, this has got my number one recommendation, guys. Okay, and. Um, You can move down, go, go through my YouTube channel, as you can see Swissco Global Update. I've got lots going on there. And um, go, go back on the history and, and go through all the videos so you can see um, how credible um, Swissco Global is, okay? But um, that's a, that is about it for now, guys. I, I would certainly give this a go. Um, you know, $30, you've got absolutely nothing to lose, okay, $30. Nothing to lose at all. Two seconds, honey, hold the line. Okay, guys, I got an important call that's just come in, so I'm going to shoot off now. I'll be back at 9 o'clock tonight, and um, we can go from there, okay? i got to take this call, and I've been going for over an hour and 20 minutes right now. So um, thanks, everyone, for attending, and um, just set up a free account now with Swissco Global. And um, buy that first Bitcoin mining package, just $30. That's all I'm asking, just to test the water, and then you can um, advance on that at, at a later point when you feel more comfortable, you know. But I'd say $30 is a great way to dip your toe in and get this off the ground, okay? So um, thanks, everyone, for attending on Zoom and Facebook Live. And uh, I'll be back at, um, what will be now, 20 past 5 in the UK. I'll be back in about three and a half hours at 9 o'clock, okay, in the UK. I'll be back for another session. And we'll probably do this all again on a few other programs that, that I'm doing as well. Okay, thanks everyone, and catch you later. Cheers now. Two seconds, Anif. Link the need, um, sorry, um, need the link for Swiss Gold Global is, um, I have put it in the chat already if you want to scroll up. Um, let me just scroll up and take a look. There it is, you okay? There you go. So that's it, guys. Okay. Thanks, Neil. I'll back and back at nine o'clock. Let me just end this call. I'll be back at nine o'clock. Okay. Cheers, everyone.